winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting... Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another Thursday modding video. Today, we're going to be working on a polygonish model that somebody sent me to work on. Um, this is a case. 2670 so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it try and get a little bit done on it today all right first things first drop that down these three can be deleted as can that Okay, so we can remove those for now. In fact, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to delete these three. Delete. Control Shift S 2670 underscore wheels that blend. So then if we go back to the 2670, whoops, wrong one. So if we go to this one, it should have just the wheels. Yep. So we go to this one, this should have the whole model, which on this one we can delete the wheels off of. Yep, and it does. So we'll go like this. Bada bang, bada boom. Oops, control S. Okay, delete the blend one. All right, now we'll go back to these wheels. All right, so first what we're going to do. First I need to shut my door quick. Ouch. Oh. Um, okay, how do I wanna go about this? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go separate by material. So that way we can work with this a little bit more here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to remove this tire. Because I'm going to have this, this is going to have selectable duels on it. I'm hoping anyways. I mean, that's the goal, so. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, so I missed a few. Trying to figure out what the best way to get these would be. Oops, wrong thing. So this will be front, left, dual. Shoot, I took a little bit too much now. Man. Oh wait, no I didn't. I need to take that piece off. Uh, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I need to take that piece off yet. There we go. Okay, so then this will be front left here. Ah, heck with this. We're just going to leave it like this, I guess. 
it's kind of going to be a pain to do it this way, so. Okay, I need to sign out of Steam because this is driving me nuts with this crap. Okay. So, front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. Okay, so now comes the fun part of doing this. Okay, and so then what we'll do is we'll go to, what do I need this? Just make sure that this tire rotates correctly. And it does, so that means that all of them should rotate correctly. So I'm also going to show you guys how to, um, how I bake. Okay, did I make that? Yeah, that's what I did. Dang it. Um, how I bake, like, especially these poly models oh, ah. um, because everything always has more than one material um, but you don't necessarily I mean I figured this out not long ago I actually didn't even know this but that you can uh, you can bake multiple materials and then you just, um, you know, once you bake it, I think I've actually showed this already, but anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it again, so. I'll maybe be able to get this entire thing baked, like tractor and all. We'll see. I do have to separate a few things on the tractor, like steering wheel and a couple other little odds and ends, but um, should be able to bake that whole thing in this video. So, okay, so now we're gonna switch to texture mode and bring this out. Go to UV Image Editor, tab into Edit Mode, select this whole thing. Smart UV it. 0 0.01. Okay. New. This is going to be front. Okay. Actually, we're going to go out of that one. 2048. 2048. Okay. Now, front left. Okay. So that's going to make this entire. Entire tire white and we're gonna go to bake get rid of all this crap 
I always do because I don't really need it. Put this down to five and take off clear, bake it, and it always freezes the first time that I bake for whatever weird reason. There it goes. Holy crap, it's being really weird. Wow. I don't know what the deal is with it. Really? Wow. What the heck? I just want to be in texture mode. What did I do? Oh, object mode. That's why. Okay, now we're cooking with peanut oil. Well, maybe we'll bake this whole thing in this video. We'll see. Well, we'll bake this tire in this, and then I'll cut it, and then because it's gonna be the same, so then you know, that'll reduce time. Okay, and we're back. Um, okay, now to do what I had planned on doing. So this is left door. Uh, so we're gonna be working on the doors first. So we got left door, right door, uh, tab into edit mode, and go into this, go here, get rid of that. Okay, we need to make all new materials here. L, white. L black actually I don't even need to put the whole thing there whatever so this will just be LC um, okay so then this is like this like that LG and then we'll go put that there and now let's see I need the mirror let's see I think this is 1.5 no I need to remember how to how they had that set up oh no it's transparency 0 0.3 1.5 1.466 okay 0 0.3, 1.4, right? No, 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.466. There we go. No, it's back. Okay. And LR. W R B So these doors I'm going to script them so that they open um cuz I want want to be able to have these doors work so then RC. All right, now for glass again. This time I know what I'm doing. Or else I'm going to act like I know. All right. So this is 0 0.3, 1.5, and 1.466. All right. 
and RR. Okay, so now we can get these things baked. Smart UV project, that thing. Remove that up there. Okay, so then this is left door. It is 2048 by 2048. That's the size that Giants requires. Otherwise, it'll throw errors. Okay, and then we can go over here to the baking tab. And bake it. Oh man. Cancel. 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 I want to have a background on that. New left door. Uncheck clear. Can okay, now bake. So hopefully everything shows up correctly and bakes correctly. I'm hoping everything goes smooth. Traction King. I've actually never seen a tractor like this in real life. I've seen pictures of them, but I've never actually seen one, like, in person. Like, this model looks pretty cool. I mean, of course, it's modeled off a real thing, so... It would look... I would assume that it looks pretty awesome in real life, too. <clears throat> if you ever have seen one, or maybe you have one... Uh, comment it down below and let me know if uh, it's actually as realistic, if the real thing, if this model is as real as the actual thing is. I'm kind of curious. So then what I'm going to be doing here is the only material that I'm not going, or well, I'm going to separate this window out as soon as this finishes baking because I don't want my windows to have um, dirt on them, um, or if I do, it'll be like a very slight dirt, it won't be the same as these doors, so I'm going to separate the window, but I want to bake it all on this, so that way I only have one texture file for all of this stuff, so, uh, you guys will see that here in just a second once this finishes, I need to start that again, just realize that. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna look it up here. Case twenty six seventy images. Looks like a pretty awesome tractor. Uh, I want to see a picture of the back end of one though. Okay, that's a toy. Okay, so it does have a three point on it, but mine I'm gonna actually take it off. Okay, so we're going to save this image. We're going to go to like this. Unselect everything. LG select P selection. Go into object mode. LD window. Drop that under there. Okay, so now if we go like this, we can delete, oops, that's right, we can delete all those, left door, tab, edit mode, we'll assign this to here, uh, left door, same with the glass.
textures left door this things looking awesome already okay so now we can get rid of those and I will do the same for this door except I'm just not going to do it right now because you guys have already seen it and I don't want to have to do that all over again. So I'm going to delete the three point off of here because as I said it's kind of a like I really don't use three point machines on these big tractors that often. I mean not that this tractor is overly huge it's just like a big enough tractor where by the time I'm using this you know by the time I would start using this I wouldn't be running anything that's three point and plus the way that you know to set up the three point from the polygonish model would kind of be a big pain in the butt as well uh, just because you have to like center every single piece and separate them all to be just right and oops that's definitely not what I wanted to do um, but yeah it's it's more of a pain than I want to deal with so pain some there it was a guy a guy did send me this tractor to work on um like he bought the model and then sent it to me uh, and asked if i would work on it and i mean i guess if the guy really wants three point i will go and add one that's already in game um i like i said i personally don't want a three point on it but if that guy does um you know, I can add one for him or whatever else I need to do, so. But it would be added in Giants Editor. So then the next thing that I need is this steering column. Because I want to have this. First off, I want to have it tilted down a whole lot farther. And then second of all, I also want to... I need to have this thing centered so that way it actually rotates in game. Or so I can set it up to actually rotate at least. Uh jeez, where can I get in here that There we go. That should work. Cuz if you look right now, this is how this thing rotates. That's not going to work very well. Okay, so I think if I just rotate this thing up a little more, I think I'll be golden. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now we're going to go P, Selection, Tab, Object Mode, okay. So now we need to figure out which one this actually has on it. So it is black. Okay. So we're going to name this steering wheel. Oh, wait. No, we're not. Uh, we're going to go. Okay. So first off, we're going to go control shift D. Or shift D, I mean. And then we're going to go tab, edit mode, A, N, and we are going to center this thing so that way it will rotate correctly. So that also involves going like this. Getting it perfectly straight, which, holy crap, it pretty much is. Okay, so now if we go into object mode, is this thing going to rotate correctly? Come on. 
cool beans. All right. Let's get this thing put back up in the cab. That's pretty close. Just not quite close enough. All right, so now Cool, it rotates correctly now. Awesome possum. Okay, I think that's the only thing that I gotta do now. So now, we'll just bake this thing and do the other stuff that's gotta be done. So this is steering wheel. Make a material called steering wheel for it. Okay, so now we can work on baking all of these items because our door is already done, which is awesome. We'll go to texture mode, edit mode, you smart UV, okay. Steering wheel. Uh, oh, man, I need to separate the interior out yet, too. Forgot about that one. Oh, well. This video, I forgot that, also forgot that the Thursday modding videos aren't always exactly a half hour either. But yeah, so I need to separate the rest of this interior out as well. So I think what I might do is just, ex, like, separate this entire thing by selection, or by material. This entire tractor. And then I'll just go through each material and figure out which ones are on the inside and then also select like you know the inside part of this cab and make it so this cab is not dirty at all on the inside and we'll do a little, little little bit of work on it and get it looking snazzy and working right like it's supposed to it is a nice looking tractor that's for sure I wouldn't mind having a tractor like that. Save as image. New open textures. Steering wheel. <coughs> Alright. Make that invisible. Get rid of that. Go to this. Edit mode. Buy material. Bada bing bada boom. Now we'll get rid of all but that. Alright. Okay, so that's all the glass. Which we're not going to touch right now. Um, okay, so then... Let's see. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need that. Wow. This thing is going to be really easy, I think. Cool. So it's just these two then. So then all we got to do is just take these lights off of here and we're golden. So we can get rid of that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Because it would look ridiculous if this interior was dirty. I mean, quite sure you would not let your interior turn out like that. 
control J. So we got two materials in here. Um, so yeah, the windows will separate out the same way that we did with the doors, doing that afterwards. Um, so interior black. So now we're going to name this interior. Okay, and then interior rubber. Guess I don't really need to type the entire thing, but I am anyways, so. Man, I can't believe how perfectly that's set up. That is just awesome. Okay, so then the rest of the body can be turned on as well. Case 2670. So now we're going to bake the interior quick. Tab on into edit mode here. We'll get this thing baked up, get the tractor baked up. Then we'll do some separation of our windows. And then we'll be all set with this tractor. Oh, excuse me. Yes, I know my encoding is overloaded. So we'll just wait and see how this thing turns out. Yeah, so like this definitely is a much nicer way to bake things because like for one of these tires, that'd be three, I'd have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, uh, what do we have here, like three or four there too, so I mean it's, you know, that'd be a whole lot of texture images, you know, texture files, and that would make, you know, the more files that are in a fold or you know more texture files and other files there are in a mod the bigger the file size and all that stuff but doing it this way there's a lot smaller of a file size and whatnot oh wow that looks awesome it's definitely kind of dark but it's still awesome okay Image, save as image, interior, tab back into object mode, delete those, interior, go like that, go to edit mode, go here, new, open textures, interior, Object mode. Okay, we can get rid of that. Now we'll bake this tractor up. Tab on in object mode or edit mode. Smart UV that thing up. And we're gonna call this one case 2670. And now comes the fun part of letting this bad boy bake. Hopefully it isn't too terrible. So yeah, the glass on the, like, headlights and stuff, that's going to really get, you know, that's going to get as dirty as the rest of the tractor. But I want these windows on the cab to be just slightly dirty, like, kind of dusty. Like, I want to be able to see through them when I'm, you know, driving and it's dirty. But I also don't want them to be spotless, you know. So we'll see, uh, see what we can do here. So we'll get some spec maps and some cube maps added to this thing once we get it exported to uh, Giants Editor, which will be next week's video, I think. Um, I'm going to 
get this video edited edited and get it ready so I can upload it uh, the morning of when you're seeing it. Uh, it's currently coming up on 9.30 Wednesday night. Um, I just got back probably an hour ago or hour and a half, something like that. So it was about, about 8 o'clock I got home. Uh, from, you know, I worked, worked at Sky Zone this morning from 9 to 4, and then as soon, from 4 to 8 I was insulating, so, I have like a stuffy nose, that's why I keep having to kind of do that, it's kind of annoying. So then I'm going to have this beacon work. Oh, shoot. I didn't separate those pieces. Oh, well. I guess that piece is okay. It's one little piece. I don't want to have to, like, stop and redo a bunch of stuff, so... It could just be kind of a brown piece once the tractor's dirty. <laughs> this tractor looks bare without tires. It looks it looks really ridiculous without tires on it. And without doors, of course, and an interior, but I mean, who cares about that, right? Oh, this thing's taking forever. It is going... Time remaining a minute 40. <laughs> as sure as I go, but it don't take that long. This AO looks awesome, though. Like, just look at the detail on it. That's the thing I love about these polygonish models, is, like, the bake always turns out just awesome on them. I mean, of course, any mod will bake awesome if you do it right, but model, excuse me. Which, that's one thing that I need to sit down and practice doing again is modeling. I haven't modeled anything in ages. I just worked with these to, you know, build up some stuff and whatnot. Oh, I suppose the glass baked stupid, didn't it? I didn't make any new materials either. Oopsie. Let me guess, this is right door. No, I did it for that. Glass. Select. Wireframe. I want to un deselect a bunch of this stuff. Because I don't want these ones for the lights. I just want the window glass. P, selection, Z, texture, object mode. Windows. Put that under the case. So we'll go to object mode. We'll remove all of those. New case 2670. Tab back into edit mode.